Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be working on my 1970 F100. I've had this truck for about three months now, but just today we want to make a video. Um, so for today, we're going to be lowering the rear end of the truck. Uh, we're going to be doing a uh, leaf spring flip. We're going to flip the uh, perch here and then just flip everything around and lower it about six inches. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Right now, we're just going to remove these uh, shocks right here. Um, there's probably a better tool for this, but I'm just using vice grips on the shaft just to hold it. Um, if it spins, it'll probably mess up the shaft, but since it's not spinning, should be good to go. And then once I get this off, move to the other side, take off this perch here, take off the front um, part of the leaf spring, oh there it spins, and um, continue to flip. Go. There it goes. Alright. Alright, so the next step will be to remove this drive line um, because we're going to have to flip the leaf spring. And once we do that, we're going to have to take the brake lines off and this drive line. So that'll be the next step. Let's do it. Always do it in a cross pattern. That way, nothing gets um, too loose on one side and tighten on the other. Exactly. Because if you were to loosen just one side, the other side would take all that energy that loosened off and make it extremely hard to loosen. So, always do cross pattern when you're tightening and loosening. Makes it as even as possible. Normally, we'd be using the impact, but unfortunately, our impact does not fit inside this area. So. I'm gonna do it by hand. See Eric, that's why you wear gloves. You don't want to get video of that too. That's why you wear gloves. That's it. That's why you wear gloves. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna get this front part of the uh, leaf spring off. Because it makes no sense on taking both both of them off when we can just pull this down, flip it around, save up some time. Bolt is out. spring is. Let's get that sucker. Yeah, let's get this other side out and then we'll keep rolling. Is it moving? Yep. There you go. There we go. That is loose. 
All right, so when everything's said and done, this is what you're, you're gonna have taken off of the truck. Just like that. And something that we forgot to do is just make sure you wanna take off the brake lines beforehand. Um, these are these guys right here. Um, Cause otherwise it'll just sag. So we're just waiting to do that right now. You gotta cut the perches off and then flip them around. But first you gotta get your grind off wheel and cut these welds. And then once you're done with that, you wanna smooth it all out. So let's get started. And I got no gloves on. I'm so fucking tough. Even the camera guy has gloves on. I don't have gloves on. Safety zone. Safety zone. All, All right. right. Sweet. I'll grind those down. Get the grind. itself to match that one because the axle's in the same position as that side and it's exactly on that line just where it was so it's tack welded now I'll go back and tack the four sides before we put this all back together and then when we lower this truck we'll see the drive line might work perfectly into the transmission all right so after you're done welding your, on your perch you're gonna want to take your leaf spring here and uh, bolt that sucker on and then uh, once you have both those bolts in you want to tighten them all down it's really good to use a mallet or a hammer and a friend to like to move the leaf springs around, so obviously this is a two-person job. And then you wanna get your axle, I mean, sorry, your drive line, and put your drive line back in, and get your U-bolts uh, and start tightening them down. So we just put everything back together, um, and then make sure to paint over your uh, grind spots so it doesn't... And the welds. Yeah, and the welds, obviously, so it doesn't rust. And then put everything back together, put your wheels back on, and let's see what it looks like. <laughs> that is sick. It's the first time I've ever seen it too, guys. So pretty sweet. The front needs to be lower too now. Yeah. A little more. Yep. Damn, sweet. Alright guys, so that's how you load your truck for free. Now we're going to be posting videos every Sunday morning, so I want you guys to be tuned for that. And we will have videos waiting for you. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.